Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kipadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today, talking tripods, this one right here, which is the Pro Mill 32 by Field Optics Research. We'll start with the what. It is a carbon fiber shooting tripod made here in the USA, and it actually has some pretty unique features kind of built into it compared to other carbon fiber shooting tripods, and we will go over those in a second. As far as kind of max height, this is what we're looking at right there. But I'll tell you some of the features about it. Up top here, we have a bowl adjustment with their precision bowl tensioner. And this into itself is actually pretty cool. This bowl is built directly into the top of the tripod. And what that does is eliminate weight. So rather than having the top of the tripod, then accept your bowl adjustment. It eliminates that. Granted, it cuts both ways because now you can't necessarily throw like a ball adjustment on there, but this was not designed for that. And as far as kind of range of motion, we get in about 20 degrees. And then something else kind of cool is up top here, when you go ahead and tension this thing down to lock in your gun, you can either have the Arca Swiss rail in there or in the middle, there's actually 1913 rail. So if you are maybe shooting from the prone off like a bipod or something like that, but you have your spotting scope with some pick rail on there, you can throw that on there. Or for that matter, honestly, any gun that maybe just has M-lock and you can throw a pick rail attachment on there, drop that guy right on there and be able to shoot that gun off here without having to have a ARCA rail for pretty much every gun you own. Also built into the top of the tripod head, you have this bubble level, so you can actually get the tripod level. And then right here, we have this built-in bubble level so that you can get your gun level once it's in here. To use this, simply drop your gun equipped with the ARCA rail in there. And then you can actually tighten this this way, loosen it, whatever it may be, or use the knob on the other side to get the right amount of tension and clamp that guy in there. And then at that point, you are good to go. The weight of the tripod is 5.5 pounds with a max height of 58.3 inches, minimum working height of 4.75 inches. Bowl diameter is 75 millimeters. Folded length is 23.7 inches with a load capacity of 115 pounds. Leg diameter is 32 millimeters by 1.2 millimeters. Something else pretty cool with this setup is their tight end leg lock system. So if I was going to come in here and maybe I'm going to shoot a string of fire from here, like 10 rounds or something, think PRS. Basically, what can happen under recoil is this is coming back and going forward, doing your best to manage recoil and everything like that. But what can happen is your legs start coming in. And so the more they come in, the less stable your tripod is. So what they've done is made this leg lock system, tight end leg lock system, where you can crank these guys up. Basically, this piece up at the very top of your tripod. And... Once you've cranked these things down, the legs can't collapse. So if you're shooting a string of fire, you can basically have your tripod set up, or for that matter, if you're just gonna be in a position and you may take more than one shot hunting, something along those lines, you can get this totally locked down and your legs won't collapse in on you even under recoil, which is pretty cool, especially if you're gonna shoot a bunch from one position. As far as this tight end leg lock system, as cool as it is, there's no free lunch. So this basically adds about a pound to the entire tripod setup. As far as the legs like positioning, we pull this down, bring it up, get to that position there, or if you need to, basically goes completely level with this tripod head. There's some other kind of cool, unique things that were built in this tripod as well. You can actually remove all three legs for transportation, storage, whatever it may be. You can turn this whole thing into a much smaller package once you get all those legs removed. But the other part of it is they make some pretty cool accessories for these tripod legs. 
So you can, of course, swap out the feet. They screw in there and they actually have a little o-ring which does a pretty decent job as far as creating some friction so that they won't back out ultimately they usually end up backing out I have to check them every once in a while and if you want you can go ahead and throw these spikes on and then depending on how you're going to be using it they also you can get these snow baskets or these kind of smaller like rock ones which it's so what I've been using, haven't used it with the snow baskets. The one thing I will say is these are actually sized for your like carbide tip, actual ski poles or trekking poles. And while I haven't tried one, I have gone ahead and put these in there. I will say that O-ring doesn't interface like it usually would because of that standoff. And somewhere on the trail below me is this right here. It ended up backing out and yeah, continues to back out. Got to check it every once in a while. But then over on this end, these guys right here. So these are actually really nice and comfortable too with cork. And then you can also adjust this wrist strap. But what this allows you to do is take the legs off and turn them into trekking poles. And of course you can adjust them to whatever height you want but you end up with trekking poles which is really nice if you use trekking poles and you're going to use a tripod would i buy this because i'm like oh man i want to use these trekking poles no like just get a set of trekking poles but a trekking pole even used as like shooting sticks is not a tripod and this is basically really cool with respect to just the flexibility it lends of being able to actually have and use trekking poles and not doubling up on something that you otherwise don't need. So being able to basically have your two trekking poles, stow your one pole as well as basically the top of the tripod in your pack, hike out wherever you may be going and then set your tripod up. Because when you have your tripod set up, you probably don't need your trekking poles. So pretty cool just kind of flexibility within the system kind of design elements I guess. Some of you are asking yourself with only 20 degrees how am I going to shoot high angle when I'm providing overwatch? Well if that's the thing for you they basically make something to address that. This piece right here you can go ahead and put it into the arc rail slot and lock that thing down on your tripod then take your gun Put it up there and lock that down and then back here there's this button which unlatches that and right here you have this tensioner so you can tension it pull it out basically drop it back over the nut that's right there tension it more till you get it to where you want it and now your 20 degrees basically got a whole lot steeper than it otherwise was and again depending on how you want to run it you can either leave it a little bit loose so that even when you lock in the bullhead, you still have that little bit of play or you can just crank that thing down so it's rock solid if like that is where you're going to be shooting. Having said all that, how have I used this tripod? Well, done a bunch of shooting off it. Whether it's just some different range days out there, either getting guns zeroed or shooting groups. And then I actually took the setup down to Thunder Ranch for a three-day mid-range rifle class. Ended up using it to good effect there. One of the one of my favorite things honestly about this tripod to include the way this bowl works is you can keep it basically a little bit loose to where you still have some movement or you can crank it down. But being able to have that little bit of movement allows you to get on the gun and depending on what you're doing, be able to still kind of traverse and move it without trying to have this locked in and muscle it to where now like the legs are coming off the ground. You can actually have it really locked in and just get that little bit of movement kind of traversing between different targets. And this was really helpful to that end as well. Also, something that's nice with respect to shooting this tripod is you have this to grab on here, down here, or grab onto down here. And so lots of times you'll kind of reach across, brace everything up like that. This allows you to basically do that same thing, except you also are maintaining control of the bull. So you can put those little tiny adjustments in depending on what type of shooting you're doing. Shoot 
Action! In my use, is there anything I don't care for about this tripod? Honestly, the only thing, two things I guess, one thing I've ran into is if I extend these legs all the way out, like flat basically, so I can actually shoot in the prone off this, sometimes this will make contact, in which case basically you no longer have all three legs of your tripod making contact and it's no longer that stable. I think honestly, depending on how heavy the gun is, it actually works pretty good, but it's like right at the threshold. So if your gun's a little bit heavy, it'll sink down and it'll make contact. Sample size of one. The other thing I will say is once you take these legs off, I feel like you need to really, really crank them down to make sure they stay in place. Same goes for basically the feet on these tripod legs. Once you kind of loosen them, if you don't do a really good job cranking them back down, they'll start to kind of loosen up on you. I don't know if that could be addressed with me just cranking them down tighter or maybe a bigger O-ring or some sort of gasket material or something like that that basically just kind of binds up in there real good. But yeah, overall, it's actually done a really amazing job for me. While the precision rifle world has really latched onto tripods, I think a huge missed opportunity is hunting. It's one of those where, depending on where you go hunting, you're investing time, you're investing potentially a lot of money, especially if you're going somewhere where you're either paying a trespass fee or a guided hunt. And the last thing you wanna do is not be successful. And you definitely don't wanna not be successful because you're fidgeting. So it comes to equipment at the end of the day. On the one hand, actually being dressed for the appropriate weather so you can just sit there and be comfortable regardless of the weather. And then the other side of it is being able to actually have your gun set up. So maybe you're like, well, I just want to use shooting stick. Okay. Like how long can you keep your gun in those shooting sticks before you fatigue? And you're like, well, let me just set the butt stock down. Or for that matter, just have your gun like laying on your legs. Finally have your shot opportunity. And rather than trying to ever so slowly bring your gun up, or even with shooting sticks, like try and bring the stock up so that you can get on your gun, you're just like, oh, like here's my opportunity. And break your shot. That right there I think is huge. The ability to have your gun largely set up and yeah, you can make your minor adjustments if you need to, but you don't have these gross motions of like, oh, well, I was tired of holding my gun, so let me pick it up from this tree that I'm leaning against or something along those lines. And I think there's huge opportunity in the hunting world to honestly be more successful and not spook game that you otherwise would spook with those movements trying to bring your gun up because you're fatigued. The other great thing with tripods is the flexibility in shooting positions. I actually made a whole video with my buddy Matt Yor Sawtooth Rifles going over a number of different shooting positions off of tripods and they allow you to take shots you maybe otherwise won't be able to take or won't be able to take ethically. Maybe you have really high brush they allow you to get above that or maybe you're shooting down a hillside being able to set this up and be sitting behind your gun rather than trying to do some weird thing where you're trying to prone out, but now you don't have like enough elevation off of a bipod or shooting offhand for that matter. Lots and lots of flexibility with respect to just different shooting positions off of tripods. If you'd like to pick up this Pro 32 mil tripod by Field Optics Research, you can do so directly through them. Price-wise, you're looking at a little under $800. Is that expensive? I guess it depends on use. On the one hand, you're getting an American-made product, high quality, so you're probably gonna end up paying for that. South of $800, again, is it expensive? I don't know, like, how expensive is it to miss a shot because you weren't in position on a hunt? Things along those lines. I think, honestly, there's a lot of value, whether it's out there, shooting kind of precision rifle stuff from unconventional positions, or on the hunting side. I think there's definitely value there, but if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or supporting me directly through Patreon, really helps me go out, create more content for you. And if you have questions, happy to answer them, probably not in the comments section, but we have active Discord over there, and yeah, 
can answer them all over there. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Life, I was a lonely man. With my